Coach Victoria here. We are live with our level three group for bars today. We are going to be doing um, level four high bars. So actually working on upgrades right now. We work on upgrades all season long with our compulsory group and um, the way that it works out for bars during preseason. So this point in the season um, is that we, every I think it's every three practices We'll work level four low bar for one practice and then level four high bar for another practice. So let's go ahead and jump right in and get started. Everybody get into your push-up position. If you guys like these videos and find it helpful to watch us coach live, um, then go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Coach Amber, will you count for them? They're going to do 10 seconds push-up position. We're just going to do 10 seconds today. So they're just doing their warm-up. We have a consistent warm-up. Um, throughout each of the parts of the season. So right now with preseason, this is their warm up right now. They do some shaping to make sure that they have nailed down what those shapes are. We throw the shaping in at the beginning so that we can set um, the bars and set up the stations for them. After that, they make sure that they've gone through each of the skills of their current level. So we do at least one of all of their skills, so all their level three skills. Uh, and that is just their warm-up for preseason. After that, we're going to get into doing some stations and some drills and introducing some of the level four high bar concepts today. So you guys will get to see what it looks like when they're not um, honed in those skills yet. Guys, let's go ahead and get started with our warm-up. We're going to do it on this bar today. We're not doing it on that bar because that bar is too high. Um, so girls, I just want you to do today, listen up, since we have to all share one bar. Two glide swings, pull over, two casts, a double back hip circle, two front hip circles, and a squat on jump off, okay? So magic number today is two. I know we usually do three, but since we all have to share one bar since the other one is set, let's go ahead, two glide swings. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Pull over, yep, scooch over there for the pull over. Two casts horizontal, really trying to push for that big cast over there. Nice, glide swings, McKinley. Very good. Hi, Savannah. If you guys are watching and you love watching these girls work, uh, then give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We're actually in the middle of doing a major expansion right now. We're building an entire new um, team gym right next to our current gym, which will now be our recreational and ninja gym. And in the link below, in the description, there's a link to help us out. We're doing a foam pit fundraiser. Fill the foam pit. It's $5 to purchase a foam block, and you get to have your name written on the foam block and thrown into the foam pit. Every block helps. The fan pit ended up being much bigger than we originally thought it would be. But like I said, these are level threes. We're in preseason. Um, today's going to be an upgrade training day for them. They're going to work on level four high bar. Uh, so some of the things we're going to be doing is that back hip circle underswing into tap swings, just the tap swings on strap bar. Um, right now they're doing their warm up, and we're making sure that we get in all of their level three skills. We want to make sure that we hit all the level three skills every single practice. We don't want to ignore any of them. Then with the level four skills, we're just working, um, we're just working bit by bit with those. And it's actually recreational fall break, so we've kind of got more gym than we usually have because uh, the recreational athletes are just not here this week. Nice, Mila. We love to have them use that um, T trainer to work on squat ons. Definitely makes them a lot more confident getting those feet in. Nice cast. Cora actually just got her cast handstand earlier today. But these girls have, oh, squat on Cora. 
Oh yes, you can't see that. Okay, these girls actually have um, 30 minute bar rotations. All right, ladies, we're gonna get started. We have um, three different stations today. Over here with Coach Amber, you girls are gonna be working on the drop from the front support into the inverted hang that's gonna help us with our underswing into the tap swings, okay? So we want them to be able to go into the front support, drop back and hold it independently. Coach Amber's gonna be here helping them through that and shaping them correctly, but we really want them to be able to do that independently. So that's gonna be this station over here. With me on the, we've raised the low bar, we're going to do level four high bar, just the cast, back hip circle, underswing into the back swing of the first tap swing, okay? That's what we're gonna be working on with me over here. Your side stations, your side stations are gonna be squat on with the T trainer onto the baby bar, stand up, balance, pretend there's a high bar in front of you, and really show me that you purposefully are jumping off of the bar, not squat on, fall off, squat on, stand, balance, be able to collect yourself and think about things, and then jump off because when you are jumping to high bar, one of the major things that creates fear is an inconsistent squat on with that. So we wanna make sure that we are consistently balancing on the bar. You're gonna be doing tap swings with Coach Kaylin over there. That is along with the squat ons. So I'm gonna give you a partner for your stations and you will be able to um, switch back and forth with the squat on and the tap swings over there. Everybody clear on that? Do we have any questions about dropping back to the inverted hang? What kind of shape should we use in the inverted hang? It's like a hollow chest, but are our hips flat? Yes. Okay, yes. Yes, so we are clear on that. Great, and we're gonna try to use that as we piece it together on my bar over here, right? Okay, that's gonna be awesome. Let's do, um, Let's go, Mila Hudson. You girls are gonna go to Coach Kaylin and the squat on station first. And uh, Claire and Taylor, you girls are gonna be over here with Coach Amber. And you girls are gonna be over here with me. And Amber, do you mind to set a timer for me? And we're gonna go, um, let's see, each of the stations will do uh, four minutes each. Well, no, let's do four and a half minutes each. You can only touch the bar when you're on tiptoes? All right, I'm gonna move this back here so that you guys will be able to see all of our stations. Let's see. You don't think we've ever had the bar that high? I have to clear off that camera. Okay, Miss Cora, are you ready? Yeah. Timer's going? So, Kaylin, we're at the station for four and a half minutes, so about two minutes, you probably want to switch them. All right, go ahead and pull over. Okay, Cora, so what we're going to do is cast back hip circle, and then we're going to freeze in an inverted hang before we go into the back swing. It's cast regular, just single back hip circle, because you're pretending you're doing level four high bar, all right? Go ahead, big cast, and freeze right here. Okay, so this is the super important shape. This is that inverted hang, and this is actually gonna help them kind of go up. Oh, where are the toes aimed? Yes, go up and gain the power for that swing right there. That's excellent, very good. Okay, yeah. McKinley ready? And the reason why we do the underswing is actually not for underswings because they don't do underswings in upper level gymnastics. This is for their clear hips. So I'm gonna show you with McKinley, cast back hip circle and then freeze in the inverted hang shape. Big cast, back hip circle, freeze in the inverted hang shape. So right here, this is the drop position for the clear hip circle. So when they cast, they drop to this position and then they shoot up to go to a handstand. But for now, we're just going into the back swing of the tap. I'm gonna move this a little bit so that you guys will be able to see better. Core ready? I really, um, I am noticing girls that when you're doing this back hip circle, our shapes are a little bit off of what we would yeah. do if it was just a low bar. I think you girls are just looking like you're maybe a little scared. Yeah, 
Not scared? Okay, so if we're not scared and we know what shape to use for the back hip circle, let's really, really try our best to keep our head in and drop the shoulders back and keep the belly tight. Head in, shoulders back, belly tight. That was much better. Good. Love that. That's awesome. Ribs down. This is going to load. So the lower the back is here, the more loading that we'll have. Oh, you got to squeeze your bottom still and keep the hips flat. The more loading we'll have for the clear hip circle to launch us up eventually. Good. And in that back swing, we want to make sure those ribs stay really inside the body and the core is activated. Big cast, use the shapes correctly. Nice one, good McKinley. That's gonna turn into a pretty clear hip one day. Let's hold it there. Hold it there, show me your muscles, good. Now it goes up, good, and then back. McKinley, that's super good. But we always wanna stay one step ahead, right? So that's why we're always working our level four stuff even though we're gonna compete level three, okay? Okay, tight, 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 tight. Don't drop that head. Okay, so here again is that shape. Yep, grab onto the bar. That's the shape, point your feet, that we're gonna use for the clear hip circle. And it goes up. Yeah, so I'm feeling a little resistance there. She's trying to aim her toes to the high bar. We want to aim our toes where? To the high bar? To the ceiling, that's right. Straight up and down. Show me a candlestick. Now, if you aimed your toes to the high bar in a candlestick, what would happen? You would fall out forwards. That's correct. So same thing on the bar. If you aim your toes that way, we're going to fall out, right? Oh, would you put Captain's toy back in there? Our office dog threw a toy out here. All right, ready, McKinley? You got to show off. Show them your very, very best one. I really want that back hip circle to be done um, with a bar by the your shorts, okay? Go ahead. Okay, oh, did you feel that head trying to go back? Okay, so this is the same as the candlestick shape right here. And this is good that you're able to hold it. And then we aim the toes up, 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 and then back round. Good. Now, where do you think we should be looking at all times? What do you think? Uh, at the bar. At the bar. So in the back swing, actually, we're gonna keep our ears covered our head neutral, and you're going to be able to see the mat underneath you. Okay? Okay? Time? All right, guys, let's freeze. And you can let Hudson finish up a little bit of swinging, but everybody else go ahead and rotate stations. Careful, sweetheart. Yes. Okay, level four, high bar, the cast. What'd she do? The cast back hip circle underswing. We're gonna freeze in the underswing shape. Point your feet. Okay, big cast, nice and tight. Don't throw your head. Good. Freeze here. Ooh, beautiful. Ribs down. This is the loading for the clear hip circle. Now the toes keep going to the sky, to the sky, to the sky, to the sky, and then down. Excellent job, Taylor. Clara, did you make a mountain of chalk? You are silly. Guys, if this is helpful for you, if you like watching us coach live and seeing what it's really, really like and not just the highlight reel of when we're awesome, um, then give us a like, subscribe to our channel. Go ahead, pull over. Level four high bar. And again, these girls have not even competed level three yet. So the last meets that they competed were level two meets. And this is how they're doing with their level four stuff so far. Cast back hip circle, underswing freeze. Cast back hip circle, freeze for the underswing. Okay, flatten the hips. Ooh, I scratched you. Drop that a little bit. Drop the ribs down. Yes, this is the loading point. Like we want to pull and then we go up and then back. Good, yes. So girls, we want to think about it like a rubber band. If I had a band from here to here and I wanted that band to go up super high, where would I pull it? If I wanted the band to go up, would I pull it this way? Towards the high bar? No, I would pull that down. You need to make your body into that loaded rubber band. Like we're pulling it down so we can shoot you up. Okay, come on back up. Yes, point your feet. Hip circle, freeze. Good, load the rubber band like we're gonna shoot up. Ready, one, two, three, up, and back. Nice.
Claire, are you excited for our expansion? Yeah. You excited to have a foam pit? Mm -hmm. We're going to have a bar above the foam pit too. It'll be so fun. So you guys can actually do some test swings by yourselves. Ready? Huh? Go ahead. Cast. Back hip circle. And up. Nice. Oh, okay. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Keep the hips flat by squeezing your bottom. And then we go just like the rubber band. We go bing. Yay. That's fun, right? Now, yeah, it's really one of the things that you girls are going to need to get good at is holding on to this bar, right? Tap swings are one of the most dangerous skills because people like to fly off on them. So we want to be able to hold on. That would be more like leaning to high bar, wouldn't it? Okay, tight feet and go. Oh, okay, so we kind of came away from the bar here, right? If we were holding a candlestick like this, what would happen to it? It would fall, right? Try it on the ground. Show me a candlestick. And now aim your toes towards where the high bar would be. That way. Can you aim your toes that way without falling? No, right? So you want to keep those toes aimed up at the sky. Are you falling over there? Claire is slipping on the mats. Come on up, Claire. You're walking backwards right into stuff. You are too silly. Okay, you got it. I'm gonna freeze in that inverted hang. Use the nice round shape for the back hip circle too. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Woohoo! What'd she do? Really? Paisley, you did a front layout? Amazing. All right, nice and round. Tight, tight, tight. And then up. Oh, where are your toes aimed? They're aimed at the high bar, aimed to the ceiling. And then hold on tight. Yes, and you can re grip in the back. You go jump your hands and then get them more around it. That's right. Yeah, super important to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why'd she just fall over? What was that, Hudson? That was silly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Mm hmm. Okay, okay, good. Tight, tight, tight. Launch it up. Nice. Very good. But like I said, in the description of this video, we have a link to help us, last one, to help us um, fill the foam pit. Do you want the foam pit filled? Yeah. Yeah? I got totally. Oh my gosh, go ahead. And we're gonna write your names on the foam blocks. Good, and up, regrip. Ah, you forgot to regrip. <laughs> All right, guys, let's switch stations. This is our last station, and then we're going to play a game called Kip Knockout. Yay! One of my favorite games for kids that are um, working on getting kips. Ready? Okay, level four high bar. You're just going to pull over. Cast big, like horizontal. Back hip circle, freeze in the inverted hang. Then we're going to go up and swing back, okay, pull over. Now it's gotta be that horizontal cast because that's one of the requirements for level four, right? Go ahead, big cast. Nice tight back hip circle, no pike in, no pike in. There's the pike, did you feel it? So we're gonna freeze in the inverted hang but only after the back hip circle. So you were correct by doing the back hip circle. Back hip circle and then freeze. So it's like one and a half, okay? Go ahead. Good cast, back hip circle, freeze. Okay, now I love that you used flat hips on that one, but did you feel how you piked as soon as you thought you were doing like two back hip circles? All right, let's aim our toes to the ceiling and we'll go up and then swing back. Good, nice job. Oh, for high bars, fun, huh? Yeah. Elbows, completely straight, and go. Yes, oh! My Lanta! Wow! Yeah, do that again. I'm going to try to freeze you in the inverted hang now. Oh, mom just missed it. It was so good. Her mom just walked in after she did such a good one. Go ahead. Big cast. Nice round shape. Good. So I love her drop there because it really mimics what it looks like for the clear hip circle drop. So that means in the future she will have a big clear hip circle. Really, really good shapes, honey. And very aggressive too. I like it. I like that you're swinging. Swinging is fun. 
So don't try to slow it down by piking. Use your shapes. Go ahead. So stop, in the stop in the invert hang after the back hip circle. Big cast. Hip circle. Stop in the invert hang. I saw a little pike and then you fixed it. So that's good. Now what muscles do you think we use to stop ourselves from piking? Mm -mm. So if you're going to pike with your hips, what's on the back end of your hips? Your butt. Yeah, so you're going to squeeze your bottom really, really hard, and that's going to help you to keep from piking. Okay? Bring me a laugh. Straighten the elbows. Big cast. Drop. Oh, my goodness. I love that so, so, so much. Up. Really, really good, Mila. I can't, I don't even want to give you a correction because I want it to be exactly like that forever and ever. Okay, what are we going to do to not pike? Squeeze your bottom hard. Not just like, I'll squeeze it. Squeeze it hard. Go ahead, I got gotcha. you. Big cast. Yes! Oh, yay! That was it. Good! Big correction. Big correction. Good job. Elbows, good. Yeah, ooh, yes. Yes, and you see how that almost started bringing her up into like that handstand, like, whoo, wee. Great, 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 great. I see big clear hips in your future. You gotta watch Mila do this, it's so good. All right, go ahead, straight elbows. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze it hard, squeeze your bottom, squeeze it hard. Okay, good try. Now aim the toes to the ceiling though. Ribs down, ribs down. Drop this lower, lower. Yeah, there you go. Now up, good. Seth, you gotta watch Mila. Pull over. Okay, do your best. Look at this drop that she has. Okay, that was good. Pull back over, he wasn't watching you yet. He was watching Anna. Hang on real quick. Ready, Seth? Watch her. Okay, hold there. Good. And then up. Nice. Love it. Hi, guys. Okay. Awesome. We're going to do kip knockout. What's up? One more time. Go ahead. Squeeze that bottom. No, no, no piking. Yes. Yes. Good. Okay. But do you see how you kind of tried to push this through here like it was being pulled? Push it this way in. Yeah. And then up. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's right. Okay. Uh, can we move that fluffy mat so we're ready for kip knockout? So kip knockout, one of my favorite things to do with them. We're not going to use that bar. We're going to use this bar um, because a little bit of competition never killed nobody. And I think it helps them with the kips. Now, girls, we're going to play kip knockout, but should we forget all of our kip drills? No. Should we forget how to catch the bar in a glide swing? Should we forget that we need to go to maximum flat hips extension at the end of the glide swing? No? Hey, girls, just watch out so Claire doesn't kick you in the head. I think she's finishing up some tap swings on strap bar over there. They love being on strap bar. They just started doing some swinging just a little, maybe a month or so ago. So what we do with Kip Knockout, they're gonna get into one line, um, except for the first two girls, they're gonna split up. And it's gonna be Mila versus McKinley, and they get three chances to make a kip. If one of them makes a kip and one of them doesn't, the other one goes to the back of the line. Um, if they both make three kips in a row, they knock each other out and they go to the back of the line together. All right, girls, go ahead. Whoop! They both did the hand miss. All right, try again, guys. Okay, you've got one more try. Full extension, toes up. All right, you girls go to the back of the line. Yeah, now, oh, Taylor versus Taylor. Oh, man. Oh, good job, head 
Watson. All right, so Taylor, you go to the back of the line. You stay there. Now you get to verse Cora. Ooh, both got it that time. Okay, come on back down. Try again. Hudson got you, Cora. All right. Wait, oh, so Claire, you got to go in front of McKinley. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, both made it. Now let's make them really pretty. Let's not forget all of our drills. Go ahead, girls. Flat hips on that glide swing. Oh, man, again, both made it. You might knock each other out if you both make it again. Let's see. I don't know. Hudson might start getting tired now. Ooh, knocked each other out. Good job, guys. All right, Mila and McKinley. It's back to this. Okay, McKinley got gotcha. you. All right, Taylor and McKinley. Ooh, that was really pretty, McKinley. I love the arms there. Okay, both made it. Now, Cora, do you know where your quads are? Do you know how to squeeze them? Mm, it looked like you forgot. You want to try that again, guys? Okay. Okay, yeah, something funky is happening in that glide swing, and it's called... A lot of knee bending. Go ahead, ladies. I think Ooh. It's, I, had that I think it's where people are going towards them, mm -hmm. so they don't get up. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right. <laughs> you guys ready? Okay. Hudson and Claire again. She got gotcha. you. You tried to muscle up? Let's see it. Come on, girl. Get your muscle up on. All right. I'll let you all try one or two muscle ups yeah. before we go to a snack break. Go ahead. Yeah, one or two tries. Muscle ups bar. really good for wrist shifting at the bar. end of those. Yeah, you can go to that bar. Come on, girl. Get up there. That is an armpit up. What is that foot doing? Silly. Mila did it. Let's see it again, Mila. Go, girl, go. Nice. Oh, nice, McKinley, with the armpit up. Oh, so close. Cora, what in the world is go? What in the cheater pants was that? You girls are too funny. Yeah, whatever. I don't know about that. All right, ladies, it is time for you to go to snack. Well, we'll see you guys. Go tell them bye. Tell your fans goodbye. Tell them get a phone block. Give a thumbs up. And a thumbs up. Oh, gosh, you guys are short.